Hi, today I'm going to tell you if you're allowed to get electrolysis done while you're pregnant. First of all, congratulations. Second of all, it depends on the type of electrolysis you're getting done. There are three different types. One type is called shortwave diathermy. It's also known as thermolysis and you are allowed to get it done if you're having this method. The other two, galvanic and blend, um, it's best to avoid it. If you're not sure on what method is being used, ask the salon, ask the person who's doing the treatment for you because I'm not going to know. If you are getting the one that's called shortwave diathermy or thermolysis, then you can continue with your treatments unless you're still in your first trimester. The reason shortwave diathermy is allowed after the first trimester is because nothing goes through your body. The current just goes to the hair and it doesn't go any further than that. The reason that we're taught on why it's not allowed during the first three months is because it's just the early stages of pregnancy. A lot of things aren't allowed in the first trimester. That's just what we're taught. But we're also taught that if someone was to find out that they were pregnant while they were still getting electrolysis done, if they're still in their first trimester, then we just advise them to stop. We do assure you that it's fine, like it hasn't caused any harm, but if you are really uh, anxious and you're really concerned, you can just talk to your GP about it. Another thing that's not allowed is um, getting electrolysis done, even if it's with the shortwave diathermy, uh, on the abdomen area or on the breast area. This is because in the later stages of pregnancy, these areas swell up, the skin stretches out, it's a bit more tender. After you've given birth and after that skin has gone back to normal or as normal as, as it can get then you can carry on with your treatments in those areas. Just to note as well there are some salons that will still say no even if they have the type of electrolysis that is allowed after the first trimester they might want to be extra safe and protect their backs. I respect it um, but I just want to put it out there in case I've given you this information you go to your salon and they say no I don't want you to be surprised. Another thing that I want to mention is to keep in mind that during pregnancy your hormones change. Um, everyone's body is different during pregnancy. Some people notice uh, a lot more hair growth, some people notice that the hair is the same, others notice that they got uh, less hairier. Like I had one client who noticed that her hair was growing a lot slower which is really weird. So just keep that in mind. Your hormones are going to be all over the place and it might affect the, the hair growth and your results. Electrolysis definitely won't make your hair growth worse. Just note that as well. When it comes to the pregnancy topic, this is everything that I know. If I haven't mentioned something and you've got a question, you can try comment it down below. I'll see if I know the answer but this is everything that I know. I'll be honest if I don't know the answer. Um, but yeah, you can always ask your doctor if you've got any concerns. That's it from me today. Bye.